Now talk about the nor'easter that just hit us here in Connecticut. Some parts of the state seeing more than a foot of snow. Uh, we're speaking with some local leaders on how the storm impacted their cities and towns. It's part of the mayor's roundtable that we've been doing. All right, joining me right now, Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam, New London's Mayor Michael Passero, and Meriden's Mayor Kevin Scarpetti. Thank you so much for uh, doing this this afternoon. Pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So I, I have your snow totals from uh, our meteorologist, Rachel Frank. Bridgeport, 9.5 inches. Uh, New London, 6.5 inches. Meriden, 12 inches. So, you know, this is no joke. These are these are big snow totals. Mayor Ganim, I want to start with you because 9.5 inches of snow in Bridgeport is a lot. How are you guys yeah, holding up? It's clearly one of the large accumulations we've had in, in, in a long time. I do want to thank um, the residents and our public works department and police and fire and all for coming together. Uh, did a tremendous job. There's some blacktop. I could see blacktop out there now in some spots. Still more work to be done. Yeah, it was a pretty big storm for us. Yeah, uh, Meriden Mayor uh, Kevin Scarpetti, uh, 12 inches in Meriden. You know, 12 inches, I feel like, in a Farmington or out in the woods is not that big of a deal. But 12 inches in Meriden, I mean, it's that's a lot to clean up, too. Yeah, it definitely kept our crews busy all night long. Uh, so, so again, uh, hats off to uh, you know our guys out in the plows doing the, the jobs they need to do to clean up. Um, but also, you know, to the residents heeding the warning of the parking ban, staying off the roads. That parking ban is still in effect. To the police department for making sure that uh, any vehicles that were still on the roadway were, were towed, uh, which unfortunately we had several dozen that did have to get towed and ticketed. Um, and uh, we actually were still in school today. And so a special thanks to our teachers for making sure that that remote learning went off without a hitch. Ah, no a traditional snow day. So th this is so interesting, right? Because a lot of school districts, is the big question, are these snow days going to still stick around? So they were able to do remote learning. Uh, let's go down over to Mayor Passero in New London. So the southeastern part of Connecticut, according to our meteorologist, you know, wasn't as hit as the other parts of the state. That being said, you still got a lot of snow. Tell us what your schools did today and also how uh, your city streets look right now so our schools were were fully remote today and uh and also tomorrow so uh, that takes some pressure off us having to worry about clearing the parking lots at the at you know at our schools at our school things but i gotta tell you public works was uh did a great job they did a great job planning um the we, we sent the crews home early yesterday they came in six o'clock last night they worked throughout the night and uh, work till six o'clock this evening and uh, job completed. And for New London, a 400 year old city with, uh, with a, a lot of narrow streets, uh, challenging for the plows. Um, they just did a fantastic job. Um, you know, things couldn't have went better for us. Um, and uh, so kudos to them and, and kudos to the residents who, who did a great job of uh, observing the parking vans. And now we're, we're encouraging everyone to get, get out there. And uh, if, you, if you're able, get your sidewalk cleared. Um, you know, we have a very compact urban city here in New London and a lot of sidewalks, miles and miles of sidewalks. And we depend on the residents and the businesses that uh, abut those sidewalks to clear them um, so people can, can begin to get around again. And don't forget about your fire hydrants. Um, yes, we just had a story on the fire hydrants, if you can clear those out, really helps our firefighters in all of our communities. I got to ask really, really quickly, Mayor Gannon, maybe you can react to this. Uh, the governor saying today that they're going to be using some of the portion of the CARES Act, as I was listening, to help towns and cities, uh, something I'm sure you're welcoming. What was your reaction to that? Very, very much so, and, and we appreciate it. You know, you see, they're going to come out with a compromise in Washington, but it's going to leave out aid to cities and towns, and that's just a wrong policy. But thank the governor. It makes a big difference. Cities and towns are struggling, providing education, um, trying to support. Everything needs to be done for so many people. So we greatly appreciate it. It's a good move. Really quickly, Mayor Scarpetti, glad that that's going to help out. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we've been pushing our delegation to try and get as much funding here as possible. And I'm seeing as it may not happen through that route. The governor has found a way to assist the town struggling. And it's, it's not bailing out towns or cities. Uh, it's it's helping those to make sure that we are excelling as a state. And Mayor Passero. Oh, absolutely. The email went out to, to you know, the celebratory email went out this morning to all the department heads. And they've worked hard to track the expenses, and it's great to see that reimbursement flow in uh, from the governor. So he's just doing a tremendous job. Interesting. All right. Thank you all so much for doing this today. And you are all welcome back to our mayor's roundtable to talk about COVID response as well as any kind of snowstorms that we have. Hopefully we don't have another snowstorm for a while because this one was a wallop. Appreciate your time.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right.